This video is called Getting Different Sectional Views, and it's the seventh video for Chapter 10 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. This video deals with a couple of very specific views that you can get using sections, which I talked about in the previous video. Um, if you're an architect or an interior designer or somebody like that, you're already very familiar with this kind of thing, but I think it's useful for everyone because uh, knowing how best to look at your model can actually be um, uh, can kind of go a long way to understanding it and making better decisions about it. Okay, so without going into too much detail about how to create sections, I'm going to create a new section by choosing Tools Section Plane. I'm going to create a plan section in this case. So I'm going to just click on the ground so that I actually am cutting a section on the ground. I'm going to use the Move tool to just move this up. So I'm kind of looking at the bottom floor of the house like that. I'm going to go up to the View menu and choose to deselect section planes, which kind of hides the section plane, but leaves the section cut effect that it had, just like that. And what I want to do is I want to get a perfect view of kind of looking down into this thing, if that makes any sense, um, from right above. And, and, and there's a bunch of different ways to do that. In this case, probably the easiest way to do it is to go up to the camera menu and choose top, so that I'm looking at a top view of this building, just like that. Um, Another way that I might have been able to do it is to click on the floor surface down here and then say, oops, let's just, just click on the floor, right click on it and say align view, which basically makes my view perpendicular to the surface of that floor. Exactly the same effect as having chosen camera standard top, just like that. Uh, but now we've basically got a perfect a view that's perpendicular to the ground, looking straight down, just like that. And that's basically a section perspective view. Um, what I might do is exaggerate my field of view by choosing the zoom tool. I'm at 45 degrees right now, but if I chose something more dramatic like 60 degrees and then zoomed in a little bit, it would be an even more dramatic perspective looking down into this, um, into this room. Let's actually go ahead and turn on the furniture layer because it makes this whole thing a little bit more impressive. If I change styles a little bit, it's even going to be more impressive. Let's turn off profiles and... Um, I don't know. Let's go to a black and white. There we go. So that's a that's kind of a top-down section perspective uh, view, or I should say perspective section, whichever you want to call it, uh, view of the inside of this house. Now, I'm going to make a quick adjustment and change this to a true plan, what's called an orthographic sectional view of this. And all I have to do to do that is go up to the camera menu and switch from perspective. Let me uh, zoom in on this so you can see. I'm going to switch from perspective to parallel projection, which is right above it. So watch, if I click on parallel projection, all of a sudden there's no more perspective in my view, and this is the kind of plan view that you're probably more used to seeing um, in architectural plans and things. There's no perspective, we're kind of looking straight down on it. Let me change back to perspective view and you'll see the difference. So there's perspective, no perspective, just like that. So. That is how you can use section planes to create um, perspective views and non-perspective views um, of the inside of your model, just like that. That's the end of this video for Chapter 10 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.